Hey, hello everybody. So welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to go over WH questions. So this is really building off of the yes or no questions video. So if you haven't seen that, I'd suggest you have a look at that because this will involve, um, well, it involves the same procedure as we used in the yes or no questions, but just builds on that. So uh, you'll see uh, what I mean. So let's get into it. So I'm going to use the same uh, question, uh, same sentence as I did before. So we're going to use these students will understand syntax. So I've made this tree in the previous video. Um, what I'm going to do, okay, so now let's imagine what is the WH question that we're going to ask. So let's imagine that we want to know, like that we don't know, that, that we want to ask about syntax in this question. So the, the WH question would be, well, first, the yes or no question would be, will these students understand syntax? So the will will move to the front, just like I showed in the previous video. But if we're asking a, w, a WH question, um, like a what question that's asking about syntax, that question will be, what will these students understand? So in order to do that, we have two um, parts of this sentence that are going to move. We have will that's going to move, and we also have syntax that's going to move. So not only do we need somewhere for the will to land, but we also need somewhere for the word syntax to land. All right, so let's go over that. Uh, where? Here we go. All right, so here, let me just, let me just start by drawing a line because I'm going to need this in a second. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is the same thing that I did with um, uh, previously. So I'm going to have a C here. Um, now I could put C P here as I just as I did before, but that's not going to work this time because I need something higher up that this is going to attach onto. And just remember that you know, just like we I was explaining in seminar today, um, and and then the other videos as well. Um, when you need to attach more than two things uh, to a single node, you need to include a bar. So we're going to see the same thing here. I'm just going to preemptively add a CP up here and make this C into C bar. So then this, the complementizer attaches to the complementizer bar. And here I'm going to have my T, right? Because will is still going to be the tense marker here. And I'm also going to have another thing here that marks it as a question. And just as I did before, question will be marked by plus Q, plus question. All right, and what I need to do now is move the will. And always remember to leave that small, uh, sorry, that lowercase t in the place of will. And I'm going to add will up here. Excellent. And I'm going to draw my horribly messy line up to will to indicate that that is in fact, ooh, I haven't left myself much space. There we go. Um, yep, that this is the will that's being traced in this position. Now this starts to make a lot of sense when we start tracing multiple things. We really want to keep track of what we're tracing what. All right, so now will is done. And now what I have to do is move syntax. So I'm going to delete this here, to delete syntax and add my lowercase t as a trace. All right, so now up here, I've got my cp, and that's attaching to c bar. And now I need to add something in here. So what do I add? Well, if, well, remember back to the, the question that I wanna ask is what will these students understand? And so what I wanna do is add in what here, okay? Um, now this is where, okay, well, this is easy. So then I wanna trace this over to here. So syntax is traced, is, is the trace of what? Now, what might be really confusing now is the way that we're going to mark what. So you might be tempted to mark what as a question, but that's not the case because remember it's tracing syntax. So essentially, what needs to be the same part of speech as syntax was. So what is actually going to be a noun? And if that doesn't make you scratch your head a little bit, well, I think you're a little bit odd. <laughs> but that's what we're going to do, and that's the reason why. Um, because what is actually tracing syntax? 
So we're going to have our noun, and of course, you know, nouns always want to be part of something more, so they want to be part of a noun phrase. So this n is going to attach to this noun phrase, and there we go. Now, hopefully, when you when you look at this syntax tree, you're going, "Wow, this is so elaborate and so complicated." Um, but really, by the time you you sit down to do assignment six, I hope that you can you can complete these rather easily because although it does look elaborate. It's just built up from a series of rather simple step-by-step -step processes. Um, so again, if you look at the big picture, it might look very difficult, but really when you start breaking it down into, in, in, into the steps, it's really, uh, it's really not too much to get your head around. And once you've internalized some of the, the logic of these trees, they really become quite easy to do. Um, so again, that's, that's how you're going to create a WH question. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you don't have too much trouble with the assignment this week. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to send me an email or a message on Sakai. All right, good luck. See you on Monday.